Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio here. Okay, so what's happening today? Well, we need to take out these aliens up here, so I'm just bringing up some power. Uh, to create my new strategy I kind of came up with, I have some disruptor, uh, was it destroyer capsules? So we, we can have some drones. I'm doing the follower robot count research, and as you can tell, I'm pretty much done everything. I'm basically collecting enough materials to create this rocket defense, is what's happening. So, you basically, I need enough of these speed modules and all that crap. I need uh, 50 speed module 3s and 50 productivity module 3s. So that's what we're working on is the productivity. Uh, I've been busy in the game. Let's go map. Yeah, I've been busy. I've kind of... You'll rework some stuff here. I took out the station here because that station is no good anymore. I had to kind of hook up for some more iron down here. There's some copper here that we're uh, tapping into now. Um, because... These resources are being kind of exhausted and we're using copper at a quicker pace, it seems now. Over here, we're picking up still uh, iron and copper. Uh, some more iron here, which is almost gone. And some iron coal, which then gets taken by robots all the way back into our system. And now I'm going to be up here to exterminate these guys out. And I'm kind of working my way this way to exterminate these smaller camps here. And then we go from there. Um, I might have to work my way back down here to take out this stuff here, which is a pain in the ass, but yes. So, how have you all been? I know I've been great. So let's just make a block of these guys. Ooh, okay, number 12 is thousands. So I need more alien modules for sure. Or what is it? Artifacts or whatever they're called. Let's put some lights in place here. Um, I have a new thing where I put lights with these posts here all the time. Just because then I guess as I'm playing I can find my way around. And it's nighttime of course so you can't see what's going to happen. That just kind of sucks. So what I do is I make sure I have my cannon selected here. And we drive up. We throw a bunch of these guys and then we start basically killing these guys I usually take out the spawners because they're pain in the ass and we just drive around in circles killing the snakes, well snakes, the worms I guess that's all that's left now um, I'm gonna run towards my lasers here so it takes out these guys. And so usually what I do is I just drive past. And the lasers in short order should take care of them. Okay. So let's repair the tank here. These robots are just absolutely amazing. They're expensive and they take a long time to build, but they, I find them very, very, very useful. Sometimes I run around to use my grenades that works too and here we go so let's go up here and we're going to take a tour of the base I'm just going to kind of do an update because we need to kind of check up to see if we have to uh, continue playing the game t to get all the pieces for let's try and kill these guys okay fucking ranged stuff there we go a big guy there, so that's a big worm. That's a new thing, I think. Uh, let's take out these little guys. Okay, yeah, these little guys are nothing. There we go. Okay, so let's pick up the the wonderful alien artifacts. So this is another base taken out. Woot woot! So the small ones we should be able to do no problem with our robots. So let's move up to the next guy. I usually just go right through everything doesn't matter okay woo. because ultimately if we have to escape somewhere we can always drive down so okay 
Well, what happened here? Well, basically what happened is my dogs barked, I hit the mute button, I stopped recording, came back, started recording, and guess what? The rest of the video is going to have to be me talking over this while I watch it back again with all of you. So it's going to be a long ass time. So here basically I'm coming along and I'm taking out this spider base. And so that's what we're going to be doing right now, right here. And I'm just kind of using strategy of driving around with the uh, the the destroyer robots there to to take care of that stuff. And let's see here. Oh, yeah, I can make this larger so I can see better. Good. It's kind of crappy quality, but watching it back and recording, you narrating over this, so it all mixes in. Hopefully this will work. Otherwise, I totally screwed with this footage it's too bad so here I'm kind of going to repair my you know, uh, the tank so that way we can go and attack so repair 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 hop in and then we move forward I get my grenades ready still have the destroyer drones flying and now we go and we drive and I throw grenades and I see that I gain damage a lot so I say oh crap and I kind of throw so it's a bunch more grenades and that seems to do the trick so I felt like I wanted to use up some grenades so I got a whole bunch made so yeah and I'm kind of driving around picking up that stuff and now I'm going to hop out and repair the ship here or ship <laughs> the tank so that way we can carry on and you kill more biter bases so I need to clear out all these biters here and yeah, I'm just trying to remember. Oh yeah, I'm, I saved the game because I figured it's a good opportunity. I'm combating, and you know, I hate having to start back from a previous save if you've uh, you've died. And the auto save I have set to every half hour, so yeah, it just takes a little bit of time and whatnot. And so here we go. And we're gonna take out these biters here. It's, it's, you know, I figured it was the easy target. Why not? And then I looked up there and said, oh yeah, yeah, let's do this one, no problem. Uh, there's no worms here, so just go and toss. This must be like the first, the earlier generation ones, before the updates. Because the new bases are a lot more challenging than what they are now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm driving around with this tank here. Yeah, continuing, you know, picking up all the, uh, the alien artifacts there. And then I'm going to drive over here and take out this base. So let's do that. Yeah, oh, carry on, carry on. On to the next one. No problem whatsoever. Those those drones are amazing. They just take so long to repair or to construct in the uh, for for the factories. They just take a long time. And I know I've been having issues with kind of with the drones and how they're dropping off materials and whatnot. So, yeah, you know, you'll see that in the the video here, I believe, just kind of later on. Um, I figured out a way to repair it, which is kind of cool. So we kill these biters up here. Let's take them out. Just use the you know, same strategy as always. Just keep driving. You let the drones you do the work and launch my grenades. I could be using the tank shells too. You know, they work fairly well as well. And I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I think I'm picking up the pink stuff. And I figure to go over here and start taking those out. So, oh, okay. I got to repair stuff. And then I realized, oh, I, you know, I wanted to check my fuel. And yeah, I need to refuel the tank. So I did that. I restocked the tank with some shells, I believe. Place the kind of repair kit with that. I you know, launch out more so that way I'm ready for the the, the battle. Yeah, uh, there we go. I get my grenades, I think, or maybe I'm using the tank this time. Yeah, the tank shell. And here I know it's a little more challenging because the the worms are in there. And I apologize if you can't see. It's, this is the problem with Factorio. For, you know, the nighttime is really dark. It's a cool effect and looks amazing on the game, but unfortunately for YouTube, I'd have to lighten it up. And yeah, no, no thanks. It's just 
if the, uh, this series was supposed to achieve you minimal editing I think I'm done with the you killing the biters and then I'm on my way down here oh yeah that, that's right they're chasing me I'm almost dying I forgot about that and so I brought them towards the the wall here so that way the the turrets could take them out and that's what happened and then I figure I drive around the corner here and stop the tank and then you know because I'm down here I kind of parked the tank here you know the tanks are kind of like you know they sit on the outside of the wall just because that's where they're the most useful and then, and then on the inside of the walls I want to have kind of like vehicles at each of these kind of doors here and so that way then we can kind of use it as transportation you know, tune from the base because it's the base is getting you know to be quite a distance away from from everything <clears throat> you know so this wall has been just absolutely amazing you know, the stone reserves we have will last us for, you know, forever and here I'm just repairing the tank again so that way I can use it for whatever so that way when I come back here the tank is all good and then I figure out oh, okay well I might as well go on a tour and show you the rest and kind of you show you what the base looks like and you know where it's been, I kind of resize it here so you can get a decent size. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here, but yeah, no, maybe I said we're gonna go on a little tour anyways, just so you can see. I think that's what it was, and so here I'm kind of just checking on all these uh, harvesters and whatnot to make sure that you know they're all you know, look like they're operating. You know, it looks like there's one harvester I can take out. I'm kind of looking at the, you know, explaining how, you know, I'm allowing these things to harvest and then they go into the splitter, which then they go into the, the stream, which is pretty effective and works. And we remove this unit here because we don't need it anymore. And then here we go. I'm going to take a drink to some water, but just one moment. Oh yeah, so hopefully you got your snacks and your tasty treats. Uh, down here, what we're doing, <coughs> excuse me, is we're we're dismantling the stuff that's no longer you know, used anymore. So the, uh, these things are out of resources, so no point in keeping them there. You know, we could use those in other places. So this is kind of, you know, the iron deposit here is kind of you know, winding down, and you know, there's very little left. But we did find more. Your iron kind of outside and we've ex exterminated a bunch of of the aliens everywhere and now here I'm just kind of going to uh, I'll go up here and you know this is the storage that we have of everything I kind of just check and tear to see what's going on and then I decide to wait for the the train <clears throat> and then here we are the train's gonna come voila like magic <laughs> wonderful powerful editing uh, and so here we go. I'm just kind of looking at how it's being loaded. You know, we're going to wait here for the duration so that way then the train can advance to the next stop. So that way we can check the next stop, which is the the copper deposit area that we are at. So I want to see kind of how the harvesters are doing over there. And I'm just looking to see. I'm trying to figure out, you know, if I shift click or click, right click or whatever. I don't know what I was trying. I was trying to kind of prioritize those because you can reserve those slots for for an item and I just don't know how. <clears throat> so here we are, we're going to the copper outpost. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the train's going to come to a stop. Stops here for 20 seconds, so I'm going to hop out and we're going to see what's going on. I kind of watch to see how it's being loaded and what's in the boxes and then we go over here to kind of double check on the <clears throat> the harvesters there's a lot of harvesters here and then I think oh I need to put some efficiency modules so I'm going to put them into the ones on the outside first because they're the ones that we don't need so here I know this is, there's no ore so I decide to you take that and then I do that because I know it's then it'll go on the other side there which seems to be not as full as the one side so we'll do that so that way then it kinda you harvest better and then I kinda just check down here to see how long before I have to come back 
and I'm kind of checking to see that if they have the modules in them already. I notice that one doesn't. So then it's time to load them up with some efficiency modules. Yep. This is kind of neat actually to commentate, to narrate over this. And <clears throat> it's, it's definitely a different style and definitely something that you know you could kind of try and entertain people with for 20, 30 minutes or however long it may be or whatever you know you want to do. I just hope that the family doesn't interrupt. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what makes this a challenge. Now what we're doing is I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to hook in the second line because there's another kind of outpost area that I got started you know, kind of before when I was offline or not recording, so not with you guys, but I was playing in between to, to try and advance the game to, to hurry up and try and make this you know, episode the last episode, but unfortunately... And here I just I put some more lights because I noticed that there's no lights and my new mandate is to put lights with each one of these towers because then it lights up the area nicely right and they're spaced out just right um, you typically they're spaced out for the length of the wire and then here I look and I say okay I need to hook this up I kind of have it hooked up and then I talk about that there's the coal there that's why I'm, I have to extract it this way and so we have to hook this up and then I kind of talk about the smart chests just how I use the smart chest to filter out the various items so like the the coal there which will go into the boxes one moment here I just need a drink ah excuse me how professional eh anyways so I carry on with building the whole thing here I start with the blue belts till I run out of those I'm just kind of trying to match it up with up there see where that goes down from yeah I just want to try and match up with there and so I kind of figure it goes to that tree those trees there so I kind of carry on carry on and I kind of I I get to where I roughly think it is and I run back up here and I look and I say oh perfect I think I'm standing in the right spot so I kind of get ready then to, to continue placing and I realize I don't have uh, very many blue belts left so I, I'm gonna come down here and start placing them from here so I place a couple so I know my bearing where it connects up to and there we go then up we go and then here I am simply doing this oh, and I run out I go okay well red belt works and up we go with the red belt here. And then we're going to kind of hook it in with the, the splitter there. And I kind of think about it and then I thought, yeah, that's a good spot. I place it and then here I, I realize, oh, okay, time for the smart inserters. I need to filter these. So I replace those. And then I kind of, I set the filter for copper and then I realize oh I need it for iron too and then I'm sitting here thinking well shoot how do I copy this stuff and I kind of realize that after I do this one and I said well I don't want to have to do all those so then I kind of click shift click uh, shift right click and I think eventually I do figure it out so let's see here yeah there we go and then I'm happy and then I think it's control left click or something I don't know it's a kind of combination, weird combination of keys, and yeah, it, yeah, I figured it out, which I was quite happy with. And then I mentioned I'm gonna wait here for the next train, you know, so I can. Oh, and then I realized, oh, I need to filter out the the coal. So that's what this smart inserter will do. It'll look for the coal, and then I kind of you think about how many boxes I need, and then I think, well, whatever. I'll just put the storage ones here. You know, I was kind of like looking at the other chests, kind of thinking, oh, passive provider. But then I thought, nah, I just want it stored here. You know, they can, you come grab it when they you need it, and so I can hook up the RoboPort network all the way out here if I really want to, you know, utilize that. So, which probably I'll do. I realize it takes power, all that stuff, but you know, we got this huge desert here, so I can just build more 
the solar arrays, which I think I'm going to have to you know, monitor the power of that here pretty soon. I kind of count out each of these, and you know, I decide to put lights up, and then I put the, the fast inserters all the way down, so that way it stores everything. Then I have to add power here. <clears throat> and so I just decide to use the regular power and voila all done and, and I'm running down here for some reason oh I know why to power it so maybe they can start harvesting and yeah and they get down to business here it's kind of exciting some more iron and we don't really need the coal but uh, a little bit of resources from down here you might as well you capitalize on them and use them. I put the lights in first so I can see, I figure, because it's coming into nighttime again. And then I think, oh, I'm going to place these things. These things are the beast. And I find the sweet spot, which powers all of them, which is quite a lot. You, know, you can power 16 of them with with one of those. And then I realize, oh, I'll just place another one. Yeah, it's, it's quicker, faster, bigger area. So I thought about using the smaller guys, but... Nah, and then I need to connect these two together, so then I need a couple small guys. I thought I could get away with one, but it didn't seem to work. Or at least I didn't pay attention, so then I decided to put two. And voila. And then I, I need to put more up top here, and I kind of sat there thinking about it. I thought, you know what? Maybe I'll just use the power stations. Yeah. Here we go. And we use the power stations. Because it just... You know, we'll, we can always remove these, and we got lots of them, so you know they can always be made. Not a big deal. I'm at the point factorial where I just want to get it done so, uh, before the next update, so I can start all over with a whole new new factorial with that one, with the the next alpha, alpha point twelve. Because there'll be some improvements in that version as well, so that's kind of exciting too. And I got what? Oh, looks like 15 minutes or so from this point. Man, that's hard. Yeah, you know, I thought it'd be easier to to do this, but man, I think if I was to do this next time, I'd probably speed it up. And yeah, go from there. Now I notice there's all this pollution happening, and I talk about, oh great, it's gonna attract, so I'm gonna have to probably go and kill. A further perimeter away from everything, and then I notice there's a couple new new bases that have sprung up close to us, which prompts me to want to build the wall, and so I wait for the train, which now comes. And we're gonna hop onto the train here, I think. Yeah, I'm kind of watching it there, watching it take the coal, make sure it's doing its its thing. And in the train we go, and here I wait for it to to take off here. I watch it load up the the carts, and I'm, I'm kind of just watching it. And then here we go, off to the next part of the base. And, and I recall, you know, at the end of this, I don't really do a proper tour. Kind of do, kind of don't, but I figure ah, it's almost the end of the series. You know, not very many people are watching this series as well, so it's it's disappointing in that sense. But eh, whatever, this is how I do it. I play games, record them, put them on YouTube. That's what it's all about. It's not about being a celebrity or trying to get people to watch you or yeah, uh, yeah. You know, of course, you know, anything nice where you get money from w would be good, but in the same sense, then. Does it turn into a job? Does it turn into work? So does that mean will video games stop being fun? So what I do here is I realize I need to change the way these requesters are working because they're always being full. So I figure I'm not going to use them as a buffer storage. And I'm just going to put them in. And then I look and I realize, oh, I need to balance this out because they're obviously you're loading the one side more than the other. So I put the splitter in and that seems to do the trick. So then I look and I say, well, crap, I need to put another splitter in. Because th that stuff's going to be backing up, which it is. So I put a splitter in. And I rotate the piece because I don't have any more blue belts. And then I realize I need to put power back in. And voila. 
So now it all works. It's, it's nicely loaded. And yeah, then I realize, oh wow, I got a lot of freaking copper. And so basically this copper comes in and it gets, un it loads into the buffer here and then it goes into the system, into the base basically. And I kind of mentioned that here and then I figure, well, you know, might as well show you around the base here just to show you how things happen and then I kind of talk about that the iron ore comes in here and goes up into this section here it's kind of like a buffer and I kind of just looking at it making sure it's, it works and I talk about the robo ports how I got the robots connected and just how they're flying around and you whatnot and you know I know I didn't show that really but I will do that in the next series for sure you know, I learned a lot while kind of playing this series and recording this series and you know, having it up here and yeah it's kind of interesting kind of neat and then I kind of look and I thought oh shoot I don't have very much oil what's going on because all my oil is being processed and used it's been turned into the petroleum really which then I'm using to create plastics with and what needs plastics well uh, was it red uh, circuits and I think the the processing units and I kind of look at here and just kind of show you the uh, the incoming of the ore which then gets smelted and then I kind of look at it and think huh I could put electric furnaces here just remove the size there extend them out a bit put them in but ah doesn't matter we're almost done right I kind of look at the research in here and so say, yeah, that's why it's the research, it's the blue research that's, that's kind of holding it up. You know, I know that, you know, the next base will be built completely different. I learned a lot with this whole bus thing and kind of like how you, you move the materials down the line and then off the line you you create your, your facilities that you build stuff with. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. And so I kind of just, you try and explain what the base is doing, just you know, materials are coming in and they're being siphoned off and then they're you know they're all being then used to to create different things. This is the science research and it's going good I notice still for the purple stuff. And then kind of we walk down here and I talk about how the steel comes off the, the line with the plates. It kind of siphons off that way too. And I scroll my mouse around for some reason. I'm probably explaining that you know I use a lot of plastic, and you know then I use that stuff. So I'm talking about the petroleum dilemma. Yeah, I think that's what it is here. I'm gonna have another drink because my mouth. Ha. It's freaking hot where I live. Um, yeah. Let's see here, and then I talk about that's making processing units, that's where I'm using the, the acid. And that's because I need 50 of each, I need 50 of the speed ones, 50 of the productivity ones, I believe. Yeah, and so I, I'm kind of looking at there and I know I don't quite have enough. And then I kind of mentioned here that I'm going to probably continue playing. Um, I'm not going to be able to fit this this into this episode most likely, but when I'm ready to build the, the you know, that rocket defense system, then I'll do it with all of you. And then I kind of show off this, and I notice, hey, why are those robots doing that? What the hell are they doing? And then I realize that you know there's gears, and the things need gears, and so I try and pick them up. It's because the robots are trying to go inside, right? So I just pick them all up because they're stuck in a loop, it looks like. And then I go, oh, okay. Well, no wonder they can't drop in. There's no room. And so I go and I try and fix all of this. And wait and wait and wait. And say, okay, I'll drop these robots back out. And then I wait and wait and wait. I'm gonna, and then I try to set this up to how I feel it should be. And then I bang, and then I think, okay, perfect, that's all there. And then the robots should bring, and then it's like, yay, they're not being stuck anymore. And then I kind of watch it just to make sure everything looks good, and I, I'm thinking, okay, perfect, everything's working again. 
But it's those capsules, those destroyer capsules that I use. And so I try and replenish some, and I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed with the result, because it probably ran out. Probably got jammed up, and then now with them functioning again, I'm, I'm happy. I just double check again, and I realize, you know what, maybe I'll do half of what it says there. That way then they'll always stack, and yeah, so then I go forward, and, and I change all those to be half. Oh man, guys. Guys and gals and all those who watch YouTube, and if you're still watching this, I, I thank you for that. It's a long, long time to talk for so long. Man, all I know is this better work otherwise. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, and I think I just kind of talk about that. That's where I built the assemblers, you know, the creation of the assemblers. Cause, so that way I, I don't have to build it by hand. And then I kind of just show off where the copper is being, you kind of mine, and then you're delivered by robots. Excuse me for yawning. Whew, it's getting late here tonight. And we run up here, and I show off the kind of, the cold is the same thing. It gets, you move down there. And then we kind of run back down. You know, and then, I don't know, I just can't remember now. Maybe I kind of talk about the robo ports and how I've connected them this way. It kind of makes it easier. And then I talk about probably rocket defense and just that I've learned a lot with this game. And I'm probably I'm probably re repeating myself, but I need to fill in space, <laughs> space till the end of the video. And I kind of, I zoomed out just to show off the base and. The complexity, and I just kind of say how I love the game and the complexity of the game, and it's just great. I kind of look in here to make sure if I need any more, and I figure I got enough, but that's what I've been doing is I've been collecting that stuff and by killing them because they've been kind of encroaching it on the base. And so to kind of combat that, I've been slaughtering them. You're keeping them away from. Excuse me. You're keeping them away from my walls, and yeah, I kind of just talk about that how I've learned a lot, and you know, I could upgrade these to electric furnaces, but I don't. And I don't know, you know, with the next game I do, it's, I got some interesting plans. Got some plans with kind of how I'm gonna you bring the resources in, you know, kind of like storage of the resources and then usage, and then even this stuff with the petroleum, you know. The storage that I've got set up is nowhere near enough what you should really have. I think that would be should be doubled and the petroleum should be another set of so so two more sets of nine for that. Maybe each of those two sets of nine. So like three sets in total for the petroleum, three sets for the the, the heavy oil and three sets for the or two sets of each of those for the hard. And this is almost over, so I'm not sure if I'm going to catch this right at the end, but I thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate all of you for watching this video, for taking the time out of your busy schedule, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.